let's see what we have. Well, that's not a bad bass for the very first cast today, folks. <laughs> Welcome back to another video with flyfishingwithjeff.com. Yeah, that's a chunky little guy. I'm on a brand new lake, which isn't going to be tough for me to do since there's over 800 named lakes up here. And uh, anyway, <clears throat> it's about, quite frankly, two, two and a half miles, about three minutes from my house here. So we're giving it a try because I got a little tip at church today from somebody that said, you know what? There's some good fish in there. And uh, I gotta believe him right off the bat. First cast there. So it's a little cloudy, overcast, a little drizzly, which is really good for fishing. And we're going to see what we can find here this afternoon. I don't want to be harping on it, but that's what makes this area so amazing, is there's water everywhere. So come along with me today and we'll see what we can find here on this little lake. I've got my three weight with a floating line. Same setup I had for trout the last time. Tippet still looks pretty good. Got a little uh, 1 32nd jig tied in a trout candy. I believe this is another fairly healthy bass. And on a three weight it sure is. Yeah, come on in here. Nice. All right. It's about five or six casts and two fish, and I see a little, must be a school working right out there. Come on now. Got to get you off here. There we go. All right. Maybe 13. All right, if there's some of those, there's some bigger. So all, that's all we're doing is really casting right between these grass reeds. Very simple stuff. I saw the flash. Okay, easy now. Don't you go breaking my tippet. Alright. Not bad. That's probably all pound, maybe a little over. Not bad. Oh, you are in too. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to do a little help. Oh, Jeff. There's no way to do it.
I saw that one again. Here we go. All right. Easy now. All right. These are all twins. Twinsies. First four fish have looked exactly the same. Isn't that funny? This isn't enough of this fly shoot to actually get a hold of it. There we go. Yeah, those all look pretty darn close. Hopefully, they got some grandparents in here. So I tied on, folks, tied on a just a little bit different fly. Cast it out there and was sitting there messing with my apron here and boom. And that's a that's getting close to closer to a keeper. And in fact I think the one I just lost might have been slightly bigger than than that. That's pretty that's pretty cool. Let's see what this guy is here on this apron of mine. Um, that one's a little over 15. Probably, oh, pound and three quarter, two pounds. So we'll see how this fly goes. This is a bigger version, but no weight. So I'm not sure if it's going to get down. But we'll see. Let's see if he'll come back right there. Yep, he did. <laughs> so if you see what I did there, I kind of threw it back in there, gave it a couple quick strips, and then just let it sit there. Holy cow. I don't think he's any bigger, but he got a little, little tug to him. Well, he's got a nice stomach. Let's see what we got here on my rod. Uh, that one's 13, almost 14. So <clears throat> the beauty of a fly like this, with this floating line, is that you can fish it like the spin caster guys do with their jerk baits you can I can give it a couple strips like that now I'm gonna let it sit there and that marabou is still moving It's got a little attitude. I'm not sure how big it is, but again on a three weight. Ooh. Yeah, that's why. He's a little bit bigger. Alright. Let's see what this one will go. Yeah, that one's gonna be pushing 16. That's a pretty good bass. And away you go. Huh. Oh, there's one.
on now. Can we get him out of there? Yep. Put your kick fins on reverse. Come on, there we go. All right. Well, that's a fun different way to take one, isn't it? Yep, that's a good fish. Okay, just like the others, aren't you? Fat and healthy. Let's go find a couple more of those in there. There we go. There we go. Come on, get out of there. <laughs> All right. That's some exciting stuff. One right there. Right there. Got him. Come here. That was fun. Not great big, but he came in and posted right behind my fly. And that's when you just have to leave it alone. Right in the top of the lip. That was an easy one on and off. Boy, these are healthy fish. 